hey guys welcome back to my channel this video is the entryway makeover i know it has been way too long but i'm here again with a video another one i think it's been about a month since i posted a makeover video so yeah this is what the entryway looks like right now and we need to zhuzh it up make it look a little presentable so that when you walk in the house you're like oh that's nice so yeah and i actually painted this door and I made a detailed video of how I painted it. I will link it at the end of this video and it will also be in the description box. So if you want to check it out and see the whole video of how I did the front entryway, I mean not the entryway but the front door, that would be a good video to check out. It was actually pretty fun doing the front door makeover. It took way longer than I thought it was going to take. But yeah, I'm glad that's over and done with. Just trying to make sure I get into the crevices of the door. So yeah, that's it. And this is what the door looked like once it was done and painted. I made a few boo-boos on the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch them up with some primer that I have. I actually don't have the real paint, but the builder gave us the paint that they use on the wall. So to cover it up, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the primer that I have and then later I will get some paint to actually paint over so that it matches. I know right now when I, Put the primer it looks a little light but it actually will blend in once it dries so yeah let's go ahead and try and clean this place up i figured since i'm over here sweeping i'll just you know clean out the half bath that's there by the front entrance so yeah sweeping the place up and then i'm just going to go ahead and mop it so that by the time i lay the runner down it is a clean floor I'm using some of this like pine soul cleaner. It's actually not pine soul. I don't even know what it, the brand is, but it smells really, really good. It has a real like earthy smell. So yes, we're just mopping the floor. By the way, you guys, I mop the floor a lot or do housework to get a workout in because when I do this, I'm practically like sweating by the time I'm done. So instead of jumping up and down to a YouTube video, sometimes I'm like, okay, well, let me do housework for 30 minutes and it actually turns out really good so i'm just gonna go ahead and lay the runner down and hang up a few accessories i actually really like the rug that i picked for this it is feels really nice on the feet so when you walk in you can feel the rug underneath your feet and just putting in a console table i absolutely love 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 console tables um i don't like people wearing shoes in my house so for those people who don't want to walk barefoot i'm just going to put here some slippers for them at the entryway so that they can come and take off their shoes and there are some slippers for them right there so yes what's happening next oh yeah i think i'm getting the the mirror to hang over here oh no that's that's the light i think i see in my hand This console table I actually got from Home Goods. The mirror I got from Target. The basket over there that has the slippers I got from Home Goods. The slippers came from Old Navy. I think we got them for a dollar when they were having their dollar sale on their slippers. So yeah, the rug came from um, Wayfair. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the mirror up so that it's nice and sparkly. It took way too long. It took way too long to finally get this front door done. I had uh, gotten another console table. Then when I put it there, my sister was like, this looks like apartment furniture and take it back. Ah. So it took a while to find a good table. You know, when you buy things from like Home Goods and Marshalls or TJ Maxx, the furniture, you have to like go back quite often to see what they have because they're constantly changing their inventory. And if you see it, get it because if you don't you'll go back and it's no longer no longer they are so we're just in storing in storing the mirror right now guys i don't know why i change back and forth with my accents it's i don't really like think about it it just happens when i keep talking that i will just change the way i sound so yes trying to get that mirror hang right oh yeah like i said i got this mirror from target i can't remember how much it was maybe 60 bucks 
but I think it was a really good deal because every mirror that I saw that looked like this was all oh, like $130. And I was like, whoa, I don't want to spend that much. And then I saw this at Target. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty good deal. So yeah, I got it. And there's also a clock that I hang on the wall. I got that at Target too. Absolutely love, 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 love it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in this lamp that I got. I also got this lamp from Target. It is actually a touch lamp. So you touch it to turn it on and you touch it to go off. I thought it was pretty neat. If you sense there is like a goldish theme over here. This tray and this lotus um, candle holder I got from Ross. I got the picture frame from Home Goods. This is my favorite picture of my husband and I. We took it actually on the day that we got married in the hot, hot summer. Guys, it was like 80 degrees at 8 a.m. By the time we started taking these pictures, it was probably like 90 degrees. Very, very hot. I got this, whatever you want to call this, this accessory from Home Goods. You know, when I'm at Home Goods, I just pick stuff, but I like really don't know where we're going to put them. I also got this from Home Goods. If you have watched the video for the front door makeover, you'll see that I have used these pieces over there. When I do buy accessories, I make sure I can use them in multiple places just in case I get bored of where they are. And then also it makes makes the value of the accessory go a lot far. As opposed to buying an accessory you can only use in absolutely one, one, one place. So yeah, buy accessories that you can use in multiple places. That way when you do get bored, you can switch things around. So this is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. I think it turned out pretty good. Very nice and simple. Straight to the point, nothing complicated. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to like it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And for those of you who are new here, thank you for coming.